WJZ New York. Whispers in the dark Two shadows in the night The Connie Boswell Show With Buddy Lester, Lloyd Schaefer and his orchestra Yours truly, Jack McCarthy And here's Connie Boswell herself Lloyd Schaefer. Hiya there, Jack. Hiya, Connie. Tell me, did you enjoy yourself yesterday at our Fourth of July picnic? Oh, I had a lot of fun, Jack. Especially when Lloyd Schaefer fell out of the rowboat with all his clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I never laughed so much. I haven't stopped laughing yet. Was it my fault when I threw out the anchor and forgot to let it go? Now, you know, Jack, <laughs> we really shouldn't laugh at Lloyd. After all, he took along the lunch. And Lloyd, that southern chicken you brought along was really divine. Yes, it was. Remember, I saw her first. No, Lloyd, we're talking about the fried chicken. It was really delicious. Yeah, I enjoyed the chicken too, Lloyd, but the feathers kept tickling my throat. <laughs> but there was nothing wrong with that cake that Lloyd baked. I spent all morning trying to get my teeth into it. You did? That's right, and I spent all afternoon trying to get my teeth out of it. <laughs> well, leaving the goodies of a picnic and getting into a goodie of a song, here's one some of our boys in the service want to hear. So for Navy number 66, Hawaiian Islands, and Company L, 117th Infantry, long ago and far away. Long ago and far away, I dreamed a dream one day, and now. That dream is here beside me Long the skies were overcast But now the clouds have passed You're here at last Chill Run up and down my spine Aladdin's lamp is mine The dream I dreamed was not denied me Just one look and then I knew That all Long ago was you. 
Say, Connie, whatever happened to Buddy Lester at the picnic? Oh, he wanted off in thin air with that girl he had with him. You know, Jack, I really think that boy's in love. You mean with that girl he brought to the picnic? Mm hmm. Why, she has a face like a punctured tire. It's flat, worn out, and should be changed. <laughs> I don't know what he sees in her. Well, what do you mean, Jack? Why, she's so fat. Why, she's so fat, even her double chin has a double chin. <laughs> I know, Jack, but listen, after all, they do get along together. In fact, Buddy even calls her sugar. Because she's so sweet? No, because she's so lumpy. <laughs> shh, shh, that's Buddy Lester now. Oh, hello, Connie. <laughs> oh, hello, Jack. Hello, uh, oh, Connie, listen, mm. I want you to be the first to know. <laughs> I'm in love. Gee, what a girl that Blossom is. She's got me crazy. A morning, this morning I got up, pressed my eggs and scrambled my pants. Then I read my dog. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> then I read my dog and walked my paper. And before I came to the studio, I even rehearsed my shirt and starched my script. But what a feeling. What a feeling it is to be in love. My pulse is rapid. My blood pressure is up. I've got a fever. And I keep Calling for Blossom. Calling for Blossom? You should be calling Dr. Kildare. <laughs> well, Connie, I'm afraid you'll never understand the real meaning of true love. Now, listen, buddy. You don't exactly look like the true lover type to me. Are you kidding? I'm not a lover. Connie, look, when it comes to love, I've got what it takes. <laughs> Only nobody wants to take what I've got. <laughs> well, get a load of the lover Lester. I suppose you're going to tell us now that you're another Don Juan. Don Juan? Oh, you mean that guy that wrote that song about himself? What song? I don't want to set the world on fire. <laughs> uh, but why do I talk to you people about it? I don't think either of you will ever know about L'Amour Toujours L'Amour. I'd rather talk to that character, Lloyd Schaefer, our band leader. He knows about L'Amour, don't you, Lloyd? Sure. She looks pretty good in that sarong. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Look, what do I care? As long as I love Blossom and she keeps carrying a torch. For you? No, for the Brooklyn Navy Yard. <laughs> She's a welder. <laughs> Don't tell me she comes from Brooklyn. Yeah, she comes from Brooklyn. And you know what's a funny thing? Everybody comes from Brooklyn. <laughs> Nobody ever goes there. <laughs> but you, you must admit one thing. She's beautiful. Are you kidding? She's the only girl I've ever seen with a king-sized nose. Well, at least it's cork tipped. <laughs> Jack, listen, I don't think it's right for you to talk about Buddy's girl that way. Yeah, he's just jealous because he can't get a girl like mine. Who, me? Jealous over her? With her looks? With 